<clears throat> Alrighty, so this is a, another piece from the um, Holophon. This is the Turtles 4-pack. Um, so we've gotten these in different capacities. So we've gotten like Turtles in the Skies probably most recently. And then we got like the originals where it was like each turtle came with like a back eye. So like one came with Shredder, one came with Krang, and then um, two of them came with foot soldiers. I can't remember which ones was which, but, um, and then they finally did like two packs. So I think like, uh, I can't remember now. I think it was, I think it was like these two and then these two. I can't remember exactly, but that's how I bought them um, a few years ago. But I don't know, this kind of interested me and I kind of want to do a comparison of like those. So I don't have the originals, but I have like the ones right before it. Um, you know, just looking at the package and everything, it looks kind of the same. Um, I will bring those out for comparison too, just so you can see. Um, one thing I do notice is it does have like these interchangeable heads, like um, that comes with the um, whatchamacallit, like Trolls in the Skies. Um, and this one too is pretty pricey. Like, um, I believe it was 150. So, um, definitely understand why people would not want to get it to have to pay, you know, extra for whatever they want. But, you know, I was really, really interested and said, oh, well, whatever, you know, we'll see. So, anyways, um, so this is obviously the front. Um, the side, we get pictures of, well, hey. this picture of Leo and then Donnie, imagine on the other side, it's Raph and Mikey, so there's Raph, there's Mikey, and on the back, we get, um, pictures of some other ones coming up. So we got the Super Oxy and Bebop. Closer there. So we got those coming up soon. I'm not sure exactly when. The Mugman and the Token Razor Argus will be coming out someday, um, like from the cartoon. And just to point out, like these, you can switch out the heads. So different mouths, different eyes, you know, however you want to do it. So. That's kind of one of the pluses with this too. So, um, anyways, um, I guess I'll open it up and show y'all what it looks like inside. All right, so I wanted to stop about halfway through and just kind of do a quick comparison with like the turtles. So the ones are here. I've got like their weapons in front, which I'm gonna compare them to like these. Um, and the ones in the front here are like the, um, the second series, I don't know, the ones that came in two packs. Um, but I just want to compare those first, so start with Leo, and this is bandana's popping out a little bit, there we go, um, do like a sword comparison, so this is the new sword here, this is the old sword, basically the same, this one looks a little slimmer, maybe, Darker gray, I don't know. So, weapon wise, it looks the same. Um, let's see. Um, sculpt wise, it looks the same as well. Um, I noticed the color on the new ones are a little slightly darker. <clears throat> I think the eyes is the thing that really gets me though, because these look more cartoony and the head is shaped a little bit different. These remind me more of the cartoon. This looks like not quite the same. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it looks like they went a little darker with the shading. So you can kind of see that too. Um, so it's like deeper blacks on the shell. It's like the black sends out a little more. Um, one thing I did notice too is like the... Um, the back of the bandana where it ties up the knot I guess um and these is just so like with the old figure it's like a piece that pops out and it just kind of twists and it just pops out so well, it was popping out 
And you can kind of see like of a pull on it, like you can see the little piece coming out there. Um, with the new figures, it's like, well, I'm gonna point that out too, it's thicker. You can see how thin that is there. This one's like a thicker piece, I don't know. Um, let me say on the side real quick. So like, and I noticed too, it's like at a hinge, so it actually like, it comes out too. You can see as I twist it, it just kind of pulls out a little bit. But it actually has a hinge, so it can kind of go up and down, left or right or whatever. Um, and they also too have like different eyes. Um, these, I don't know, the more I look at this one, it looks kind of funny now, but these have like kind of cartoony look. You know, like with the little white pupils and the black eyes are kind of cross-eyed, so. Um, more cartoony looking, I guess you could say. The belts are the same too, so. Um, and they kind of stand the same too. I know some too, like with these, like, um, the legs seem more separated, so. Like, with this, it looks kind of the same. They still twist it, like, the upper thigh. Whenever I twist a leg on the old ones, it feels like the whole thing's moving. So you can kind of see, like, I'm just moving his right leg and the left leg's going with it. So you have to kind of hold them apart from one another to get it to move. Um, with the new ones, it's more independent. So you can kind of see I'm moving his right leg and the left one's staying the same, vice versa. So, um, so yeah, um, that's kind of an improvement. That's one thing I didn't like about these um, older ones. Let me, cause I know it's not just Leah. I know like some of the other ones have that issue too. So it's just not like a bad sample. Stay. So I'm going to do Raph, same thing. I'm going to do new Raph. It's separated. So I do like that. Um, that is, you know, one thing I was really looking forward to with these, because I'm really, really happy with these, but I was like, you know, if they do something a little different with the legs, then I'll be happy. Um, one thing I did notice too is like um, the hinge here, the paint's rubbing off. So you can kind of see where it's like a little green in there. You know, obviously you can cover that up, but I mean, it's on the back side too. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah. Well, since I got Raph out too, I'm gonna compare the weapons. So you can just see that. So this is the new side that I'm getting with my left hand. And I'm gonna poke one of these out. So basically the same. This one here's got a little green on because I've switched it around some. So I mean almost identical. The old one looks like it has like a black line around here. Um, this one looks yeah same. So nothing to improve there. Um, I'm gonna take Donnie's weapon. I'm just gonna pair it to him here because I thought this was the one I heard that had more comparison. Um, still is like really bendable, which is good because you know you can kind of bend it to his hands rather than doing vice versa. And you can kind of like if you get it in the wrong spot, you can kind of bend it and you know adjust it and all that. So um, the middle part has more darkness to it. Overall, the staff looks a little lighter. But again, basically the same. And then with Mikey, the only thing I brought was like this spinny thing. So yeah, it looks the same. And basically how it works if you hold it, like the heel part goes in here. So you hold that part, you're able to spin it around. So for example, with Mikey's where I got the heel on here, I can just spin it around. So which I still think is one of the coolest weapon additions to these. Um, so that's pretty much just a quick comparison of those. I might just want to grab out one of the Trolls in the Skies and show you the difference between that. Alright, so this is the Donnie from the um, Trolls in the Skies set. 
and you know, sculpt wise, it's basically the same. It does have those eyes where they're more circled. So he's kind of got the mean look. So if I compare his eyes to, say, Mikey, you can kind of see it's almost identical there. And that's where that bandana came from. I didn't really realize that, but that's where the thickness part came in. Um, main thing is the darkness of it. These are much darker green, darker sh uh, shell, um, you know, stuff like that. So it looks like the skull came from these. It's just a different thing. I don't know if the legs were fixed on this. Well, that one works good. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. Um, I think these two have like the, so if you see like the, it's kind of dense here. This is where you can remove like the, the head and stuff like that. This will change your expressions. But I noticed with this one here, like his tie hasn't, well, yeah, it's a little bit of paint chip there. It's kind of hard to see because it's a darker green, but you can kind of see this, you know, greens, the purple's worn off and now it's more green. So I guess that was a combination of these. Um, but other than that, you know, Kind of the same figure. You know, it looks like they took the darker lines from here too. So, if I just compare the toes, you can see that. And with these two, you can kind of just make them as a turtle because this jacket comes off. Um, the pants come off too, I think. Yeah, so it's just like a kind of a stretchy line. So, if you wanted to, you can kind of make these the the neural model turtles they just be darker so um yeah i didn't realize the difference in that but there it is there it is ralph um anyways um so i'm gonna bring out the rest of the stuff in the pack and uh you know show you everything else that comes in the box all right so um <clears throat> this isn't quite everything that comes in the package but there's kind of doubles of stuff like obviously there's doubles of the weapons except for donnie's um, but there's only one of those. Um, so for example, with Mikey's nunchucks, you can take one out so it just pops off like that, and then you would put it in there, and then that's what gets the spinning effect. So, just like the old ones, that's how that works. So, um, and his is, I don't know. It feels like metal, maybe like a very thin metal, so, but that's cool. Um, there are two pizza boxes, but there's only one slice of pizza. And one thing I didn't realize is you can actually take, there's like a little hole here. You actually take the side, and you can see it better there where the hole is. And you can take the side and put it through the pizza. So that's really cool. So if you want to have like a totally different group with different poses, you can do that now. Um, but yeah, there's two pizza boxes just like this. And this reminds me of the old one. The lid doesn't close. Um, I think the other one has a different saying on it though. I forgot what it was. But it looks basically the same. And the pizza is kind of in there too. So it's just, just out there like that. Um, there are four total turtle comms. So there's two like this that are just, you know, you can actually just take these and put them here. I think that's what I did with the other ones. So it goes in there pretty good if you want to do that. Um, let's see. Get it back out. And there's the open turtle comms. There's two of these. So, I think this one looks a lot better than the other one. Like, I think it just, I had to dig through my stuff to actually find it. Um, and there's four alternate hands. So, basically, they all have, like, gripping hands out of the package. Um, it's got, like, some dust on it or something. So, they all look like that. All the hands are out of the package. Um, there's two hands like this, which is kind of like an open hand. Um... 
And there's a set of pointer hands. It's almost like the middle finger. There's like an extra set of gripping hands. And this looks like, yeah, looks identical to that. So that's what those look like. And then there's a set of thumbs up. So you basically get the hands that come with them and then like four extra sets. Um, next thing I want to do is just want to check the weapons. So I always forget to do this, but like just to make sure they can go back here. It's got that look and everything. So that seems to go in good. Comes out good. Good to go. Check Donnie next. So, get to go. I can't remember if Rat has anything or not. No, but his sides kind of go here on the side. So, I just realized there's like some extra muscle detail there too. So, kind of neat. Yeah, take us in there just fine. And he put his arm down too, so yeah. Mikey, 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 Mikey. I guess his would just kind of bunch together and go on this side. I'm not sure. You can kind of put it in there like that if you want to. Um, but yeah, there's not a place for it on the back for a weapon to go in. Just to double check. Um, so I'm trying to wrap my head around these expressions. So, for example, each one comes with like a different expression. So this is like, I mean, this is like what they come out of the package. But they all come like with a separate head. And... So, for example, Wrath looks like that. So, it's kind of like a smile and a smirk. So, Donnie's is kind of like that, too. Like, he's got like different brows. And that mouth looks a little different, though. Um, and then that's Leo, who has like the smile and then the serious face. So there's like a smile, a serious face, a kind of a, well, let's see. Now this is kind of like a happy smile face. And it's kind of like an open face, like he's getting ready to yell, maybe. And then there's, so I guess it's just those. And then they have the serious eyes and the non serious eyes. And the way it works is you basically pop out the, so you kind of go through here, and this from the bandana up pops out with the back piece. So the easiest way is to just kind of push it in from the back. Well, and then you can kind of see like it's just that part pops out and it does that. So if you wanted to do that, the heads pop out real easy. Kind of makes me nervous, honestly. So it's got like serious eyes and a smile. So I wonder how that looks. So that looks, actually looks kind of cooler. Like he's like, yeah, yeah, let's do it, you know. Um, Cause I thought like the nose came out for a little bit, but it's just like a crease in there. So there's that. Um, and I know he's had the same thing too, like same kind of pain issue. So unfortunately that is not fixed. I don't know, I'm really liking that expression for him. I don't know, that's a little too happy or too intense. He's just, like, when I think about Mikey, I think I'm like that. 
so that works for me. And the ball point just goes there. All in the neck kind of moves separate too, so that's pretty cool. It goes in easy. Um, this round just fine. That's in there. I mean, it's a little looser than most NECA stuff, but it's not bad. So, definitely okay with that. Um, so, let's see about RAF. Yeah, I kind of like that face, especially with his head, like, till his eyes, too. It's like he's just kind of whiny or something. I don't know. <coughs> So I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, Donnie, it would be. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. It looks like he's kind of thinking. So, yeah, I think that fits him too. Yeah. Same thing there. The weird thing about this with the back knot or whatever, is I didn't notice. Um, Paint coming off of it. I mean, all together, I think like this is a better face for him. I'm gonna try it the other way, just to kind of see. Cause this bottom piece, you can kind of switch around with other characters you wanted to, so. Got big fingers, I think just went right through it. So, yeah, I like that. It looks like he's pleasantly happy about something, like he's satisfied. So, so you can have a lot of fun with those different expressions. I didn't really, the curls in the skies had that, and I didn't really mess around with it. And you know, that might be something I do later on so um how do you rate these <laughs> um i mean they're the reason why you're probably watching this video they're the reason why you collect this stuff you know obviously if you're collecting this stuff this is like the you have to have all four of these if you don't have them yet you know you should get them you know and this is a really good opportunity to Get them again, get a different sculpt. I know some purple missing right there. So that's one thing kind of neat. It's like if he's got some purple missing, I can just pop it off and use a different one. So. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, um, I mean, there's a minor gripe, you know, there's like the paint chip in here and there, but overall, I mean, these are pretty much the ultimate edition, this four pack. So, I mean, you know, if, if you ain't got them yet, this is time to get them. Um, yeah, definitely recommend it. So I'd probably have to give it a 10. I mean, it's just, yeah. Just what you would need. So, um, but yeah. Yeah, with all that said, you know, this is an excellent pack. You know, not totally worth getting if you've got the other ones and you're happy with those, but I can kind of see why you would want them. Uh, the more and more I look at these, I'm like, well, I've got, you know, I've got the Purple Blimp and I've got the Party Wagon. I'm like, well, now I've got three sets and I could kind of put one out to display and then I could put some out to light on this machine so um or vehicles so that's kind of neat too but um yeah that's pretty much all I have to say um but yeah thanks for watching